Hello and welcome to Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Now today, there won't be a reading today. It is the second time in the history of the channel to give you a book tip. So therefore, this is book tip number two. And the book we're going to talk about is this one, The Celtic Tree Calendar. Really, really amazing. I put the ISBN into the description box below. Now the Celtic Tree Calendar deals with um, the consonants and the vowels of the Celtic alphabet which have been used and were used uh, in Celtic astrology and Celtic astrology basically deals with 13 months of 28 days each which is 364 days and then they would count consonants and vowels to come to the 29 and a half days moon cycle so the tree calculator or the tree calendar sort of is a calculator for the for the tree um, astrology. So zodiac, you know, which is what we are sort of looking at, has the word zoo in it, so it means animals. Um, so we have a zodiac wheel, if that makes sense, that we look at when we go, when we look at um, our Western astrology. In in the Celtic astrology, there would be no animals; they would just be trees. But you have um, 13 trees, therefore, and they repeat. And then there is sometimes trees added that are not necessarily officially counted. Point is, this is a really fascinating look. So if you are a person that is into astrology, which obviously um, this, this channel is, and um, it is actually quite nice to uh, then compare your own sign to how the Celtic lunar um, circle, which makes up the, the Celtic astrology, uh, fuse you. And it can really um, add to figuring out how you are ticking, if that makes sense, because it, um, so the Celtic astrology, if that makes sense, uh, then looks, or the, the Celtic tree calendar, then looks at the traits of the tree that represents your star sign if that makes sense yet so it corresponds with, with different times which is quite interesting so instead of looking at um at planets which is what we do in astrology where we look at you know the planets and where they are or where when you were born here it looks um at your so-called tree sign um, and it is really fascinating. I got this second hand. It is written by uh, Michael Vescoli. Right? It is a fascinating book. There's not that much I can explain because it is a bit, it is a bit heady, if that makes sense, because it is quite different. Uh, but it goes into the history of um, the, the Celts and how it all came about. So it explains it quite a bit and therefore it's quite an in-depth book. Um, but then, you know, you have things like um, the oak, you know, and, and, and many other trees that would be explained um, to you, obviously, because you want to read up on, on what, what tree you are in the Celtic um, tree calendar, which, again, is Celtic astrology. And it is really, really fascinating. So, like I said, you know, I, I saw this uh, secondhand. Um, couldn't wait uh, and it really is amazing and sometimes when I write uh, astrology reports I now add a little side note about um, the tree sign that corresponds to whatever star, star sign slash zodiac you are. Anyway, so the book is called The Celtic Tree Calendar, Your Tree Sign and You by Michael Vescoli. It is, it is literally their form of astrology. Um, and it is really, really intricate and really, really interesting. So um, if you're a person that is more interested in plants rather than in astrology or astronomy for that matter, that would be a very good, um, well, alternative, I would say, um, to you figuring out where you are and it's really really amazing it gives you all the dates on the back and it is interesting because they they repeat sometimes so you know so the sort of so the same tree could show up at different times it's quite um quite fascinating like i said it is quite different 
to how Western astrology or even Vedic astrology actually works, um, if that makes sense. Um, initially, when I, when, I, when, I, when I thought that it is made up of 13 months, I thought, uh, because in, 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 in some astrology, uh, astrological parts, some people look at the number 13 because the moon um, travels roughly 13 degrees a day, uh, which is just about uh, as much as two, as, as these two fists together. So uh, that, that's how far the moon moves in a day. When you look at it from a movement point of view, because obviously um, the universe moves so fast and the moon moves so fast, it doesn't quite translate so well. But in essence, that's all the moon does in a day, which is one of the main messages when it comes to your emotions. Learn to sit with it. Don't rush anything. So that's what I uh, assumed first and then noticed that that is not the case. Um, it just makes up um, the days. And it also refers to Egyptian um, astrology. So if, you astro if astrology is your thing and you just want to have a look at um, other types of astrological uh, modalities, so to speak, it is a really fascinating book. I can really 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 appreciate uh, um, what it tells me if that makes sense um, and it adds to to the knowledge I possess when it comes to astrology it doesn't it is not a case of having to choose at all it is just another way of looking at things and it's actually not a bad idea sometimes to have different ways to look at different things so I highly recommend this book unfortunately I do not know if it is out of print or not I, I don't know anything about it um, but I put the the title uh, of the book and everything that that, I've, that there is together with the international standard book number of, uh, and there's only one international standard book number per book, into the description box of this very um, video. So this is the, the the book tip number two on this channel. You are watching Thomas the Tower readings with myself, Thomas Young. Like, please like, subscribe, and share because there's so much more on this channel that you don't want to miss. Okie dokie, thank you so much, bye bye.